in life today, there's, there's not a six hour period that goes by where I don't think back to the day that I was nearly killed in Baghdad. I've always grown up loving the military, loving everything it stands for. My grandfather was in the Army, my father was in the Army, and even before that, I've got a lot of relatives that were in the military. After I graduated high school, I went off to basic training and became a security police officer for the Air Force. We met through a mutual friend, somebody he went to high school with and I went to college with. Lacey was always laughing. Everybody wants to be around her. He was always looking for the next adventure. We were dating uh, whenever I was deployed to, to Baghdad. We've been gone before, but this one felt different. I never had peace about that deployment. Um, October the 14th. 2004, I was doing some work in northern Baghdad uh, in the green zone. We were, we were directly targeted by a suicide bomber. The suicide bomber got us at about eight feet. There was no wind, no heat, no sound, no light, no flash. It was just instant floating. I couldn't see, I couldn't hear, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't anything. It was emptiness, darkness, but I was still alive inside. The suicide bomber, he had used bolts, nuts, screws. They took out 44 pieces out of my entire body, every limb, everywhere. There's, there wasn't a piece of my body where I didn't have a piece of shrapnel in it. I was blind, deaf, crippled. I had gone from a young adult professional career to sitting in front of the TV with NASCAR on level 100 and, and still not being able to see it or hear it on the TV. <laughs> and she still wanted to stay with me. He was injured in October. We were married in May. Commitment is commitment. You don't change your mind midway. Everything I do now, I have to do differently than what I did before because I've only got one eye to see out of. They regrafted new eardrums, but it's not near as well as I, I used to be able to hear. Ever since I've been injured, everything with war, it causes you to put up this wall. He just shuts down, he'll withdraw, but we have two beautiful girls at home and life's too short to miss out on things. So getting to withdrawal or shut out, it's not really an option. Here at Operation Hill Our Patriots, I had no idea that such an amazing program, group of friends now, even existed. We're helping them create a vision for their future, but we're also challenging them to be intentional in their relationship. I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I've been made to face the problems that I ignored. It's showing us different ways to communicate, which is very difficult, I think, probably for a lot of guys. We're laughing together, we're giggling again. It's like you're running to an old friend that you haven't seen in such a long time. We've been given that opportunity here. I wholeheartedly recommit my love to you. I resolve to build my life on our firm foundation. In their journey, not only do they have each other as husband and wife, but they also have Jesus Christ. <laughs> there is reconciliation, there is forgiveness, and there is grace. 
Lacey means everything to me. Everything. It's been great to get back to us. Where it all started.